Hi, I'm Reverend John at Unity Palo Alto Spiritual Center, and this is uh, Saturday, February 20th, and this is our thought for today. Before I get to our thought, I wanted to share this photo of one of our ornamental cherry trees in our parking lot in full bloom. Now, in our on our campus, uh, this is the first plant to, to bloom, and it's always kind of mid-February. So I just wanted to take a picture of that and share it with you so that you have that experience, even though we can't be here in person. Today's thought for today is brought to us by the booklet Re Release and Renew, published by uh, unity.org. You can download it there or you can download it on our website. And I'm going to begin with yesterday's word uh, thought because uh, we are releasing and then we are renewing. And so yesterday, the uh, thought was, I release the habit of judging others. And today, I renew my commitment to see the divine in all beings. I'd like to read the article. A friend gives me a, a friend gave me a bumper sticker that says, "Love thy neighbor, no exceptions." While I completely agree, putting that into practice can be sometimes challenging. Little effort is required to see the divine in other people who think, speak, and act in ways that are comfortable or similar to mine. Yet I may need to remind myself that as difficult or unpleasant as other folks can seem, they too are expressions of the divine. It becomes easier when I remember the disciples Jesus chose were ordinary men with human flaws. Yet he said unto them, Love one another as I have loved you. Jesus offered them unconditional love, looking past their imperfections to see the, div uh, the divinity within them. We are called to do that as well, to see the divine in one another with no exceptions. As I increasingly experienced God's presence in all humankind, I am filled with a joyful awareness that all Earth's creation are infused with the life energy of God as well. Deepening these understandings, I renew my commitment to see the divine in all beings. This was written by Reverend Margot Ford from Unity Spiritual Center of Waco, Texas, and it was inspired by the quote from Psalm uh, chapter 82, verse 6. I say, you are God's children of the Most High, all of you. I renew my commitment today to see the divine in all beings. Now, as we go through the day, let's be aware of when we are holding that sense of judgment and let's release whatever judgment we might have about another person and renew our commitment to see the divine. You know, as we look at people who think, speak, and act differently than us, and I'll even add on to that, look differently from us, maybe have a different culture, maybe have a different way of speaking, may have a, maybe have a different way of dressing. Looking beyond those features to see the divine that is within every human being. I think when we drop the judgments about what we look like, sound like, uh, how we interact with each other, the awkward glances that we might give one another, when we look beyond those judgments, it's easier to see that bright light within one another. It's easier to at least affirm that there is something in there that's, that's a potential that I may not be aware of. And when we drop the judgments and we renew our commitment to hold that for somebody, that thought, that idea. I think that's when we uh, can really feel and experience life to its fullest in our diversity. Where we can really experience uh, some joy in the fact that we are different, that we may look the different, we may have different color skin, we may dress differently, we may have different... Uh, we may speak differently, whatever those differences might be, there's great diversity in there and that can add to the richness of life if we drop the judgment and recommit to seeing the divine being expressed uniquely through another individual. So this week, just let's just, or this week, today, <clears throat> let's just notice today when we might be a little judgment judgmental, 
Remember to release the habit of judging others and renew our commitment to see the divine within every human being, within all creation. And see how that changes us. See how that changes you. How does it lift you up? What do you feel like at the end of the day? I'd love to know. You can send me an email, jreilly at unitypaloalto.org. Uh, you can add, start a conversation on our Facebook, uh, whatever works for you. Thanks for being here today. Love and blessings. Namaste and have a great day.